one here. Oh no you're not. There's six other people here. <laughs> Hi guys. Happy Monday. I'm not going to keep you guys too long tonight. I just went and picked up some things at Hobby Lobby and yeah, the Hobby Lobby. Oh, and Whole Foods. Guys, I can't wait to show y'all. Right. <laughs> awesome eggnog today. So, do you like, do you guys like um, eggnog? Do you like eggnog? I love eggnog. What's this here? I got you guys on StreamYard again. So, I'll wait a couple more minutes to see if anybody else will pop in. Mm -hmm. How's your day today, Roslyn? You have a good day today? It's Monday. Oh, you love eggnog? Guys. I should have um, put this in the title. Hello. Oh, you love eggnog too? Me too. Guys, I found the best. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It was a lot of people out today shopping. So you're, you're right on time. You're right on target. That looks bad. You're right on target for shopping. Ooh. So I'm still popping up. Came home with no. Well, what happened? Hmm. What happened? That's okay. I bought something. So I'm going to get started because it is Monday. And chances are we can't stay on her all night, like, like on the weekend. But I want to show you people are just too. Ooh. <laughs> They're just too nasty, nasty as in health wise, or nasty like nasty personality. I don't know. I guess it's enough to keep everybody keep you away from them. But so today I went to Whole Foods and picked up this eggnog, guys. Let me tell you. Oh, no mask and bad attitudes. I understand. Ooh, I understand. But this is a new, this is an um, organic eggnog I found today at Whole Foods. My friend said, I want to buy you something. I want to buy you some food because you've always been nice to me. You always feed me and stuff. So she treated me out to my favorite store, which is Whole Foods. And I have been to Whole Foods. I can't even remember the last time I've been there. Probably like, did I even go this year? I don't, I don't even think I went this year, but I found this eggnog and I said, you know what? I'm going to try this. And the reason why I like it so much because it's not so, can you see? Oh, it's not so, uh, oh, there, it, there it is. It's not so yellow. It's more of a cream based color. It's by Kelowna Supernatural, Beyond Organic, Beyond Delicious. It's an organic egg, classic eggnog, as pasture grazed. It's been used from pasture grazed cows, small Amish and Mennonite family farms. No stabilizers, and this comes in a thirty-two fluid ounce. Let me bring my mic up some more. I looked at the, I looked at my live last night, and my mic sounds better when it's closer to my mouth. When I push it away like this, it doesn't sound as good. Mm -mm. But if I'm doing my hair, it's kind of hard for me not to bump into it. So I'm so glad I get to talk into the mic tonight without doing my hair and getting in the way. But yeah, anyway, this is a, a really good, good eggnog. So when I came home this evening, 
I ate, I drank it with a uh, organic slice of pizza. It is so good. The reason why I like this is because it's not that yellow. It's not that old fake looking yellow. And it tastes natural. And it's not really, really thick. And it cost, it was on sale for $3.47, something like that. It, it was no more than $3.50. And it doesn't cost that much. It, this is a 32 fluid ounce. I don't know if I said that already. And it, you have to sell it by 12.29. 2020 so today is the seventh so yeah it's not gonna sit on sit on the shelf too long i hope so if you want some good eggnog and you want it to taste like as natural as possible go to whole foods and get the supernatural it's by Kelowna, k-a-l-o-n-a Kelowna supernatural the best then i left there and i went to hobby lobby i got my hobby lobby bag and I picked up three candles. I've never had candles from Hobby Lobby, but they had a 50% off sale, so I had to get three. I didn't have to get three, but I got three. They smell really good inside the store. You know, girls love them for candles. Does it make you gassy? I don't feel gassy. I do not feel gassy. You sure right about that popcorn. I, I didn't think about that, because usually eggnog do make me feel sort of gassy, but not with that. It is, oh my, God. I like that it's not thick, it's not watery, well, I guess it all depends on personal taste, to me it's not watery, but it is kind of a medium thin or medium thickness, and those regular eggnogs, they be real thick and yellow and make me feel gassy, I don't feel sick or nothing, I should have read the, um, read the other stuff on here. Our products come to you from Kelowna, Iowa, a small Amish and Mennonite farming community in the heartland of America. To honor your commitment to a healthy household and planet, we work with small family farms to bring you delicious certified organic cream topped eggnog from pasture grazed cows and we deliver our dairy products to you in the most natural state possible you'll taste the difference and they ain't lying oh, i was like what is this deliciousness we keep things simple so you can too so that i guess that's their uh their logo hi adrian the thick ones tear my gut up yeah i noticed that about me too but this ain't i should have brought a glass so you all can see how thin it is. It's not like, it's not thin like, what's that skinny milk um, with the pink cap on it? Skim milk. It ain't that, that thin. And it's not as, to me, my opinion, it's not as thick as the 2%, but it's closer to the 2% type feel. So it's in between the, uh, the low fat milk and the 2%. And I feel happy. So these are my new candles I got. This is, ooh, it smells good. Oh, woo wee. So these are Hobby Lobby candles and this one's called Cleanse. Num and I guess they go by numbers. Their numbers, this is number three. This ain't working. Do I need to bring this down or up? I ain't used to this webcam stuff, but this is what it looks like. It's actually kind of cream colored. And it has two wicks in it, and they cost $14.99, but I got it for half of that, which was $7.50. And this one's called Lemon Grass and Tangelo, or Tangelo, and it smells good. I don't know how long it burns. I find that some of these candles burn kind of, kind of fast, but I don't really know about, uh, you move. I don't really know about this one, but this one smells kind of earthy and like you want to relax. It's kind of like spa-like. If you like lemon, you may like it. Hi, Sherry. Uh, eggnog tastes funny to me now. I used to love it. 
Yeah, it don't, this one doesn't taste so bad, so you might want to try that one. Hi, Sharon. I said hi, Sharon, twice, didn't I? With my little goofy butt. So here goes the other one. So this one is called Cleanse. This does have a cleanse smell, smell to it. Too bad, too bad you guys can't really see them because of this webcam. This one is called Soothe. This one was $14.99. And it's eucalyptus, eucalyptus and musk. Ah, this smells, this kind of like smells like a male, a male's candle. Because anything with musk in it smells like man to me. But anyway. Uh-oh. Ross is talking about spiking, spiking an eggnog with some rum. <laughs> but yeah, guys, if you like eucalyptus and musk, you'll love this now too. I'll, I'll, if I can remember, I'll tell you guys how long it, how long did it burn. But this is the number ten candle. I love that one too. And then I got the calm. I guess this is for like spa or something. It's got a small, a spa feeling. To, oh, ooh, ooh. this reminds me of my grandmother. It doesn't smell grandmothery, but it reminds me of grandmother smells back in the seventies and eighties when I was a little girl. Oh, this is my uncle. One of them. It could be my uncle. He used to be down there burning all them incense, and that's what it's called. It's called incense and sandalwood. This is number six. This is called calm. This one was fourteen ninety nine too. So if you like male smell. Good male smell, you'll like this incense and sandalwood because it does smell like incense. It reminds me when I was little. It, they got the prettiest, frostiest kind of uh, jars. These are nice. Then, so you guys know, I told you all that I wanted to um, use my old planner and revamp it up because I didn't use it. I didn't. This is this one is from 2017 to 18. In all these pages, I didn't use, I didn't fill up my book. I mean, I didn't fill up none of this. I'm like, what you get a planner for? You didn't, you ain't gonna use it. So, I am going to, that's the front of it. I love the color scheme. Gray and stuff. That's a gray blue. And it does, this one doesn't have sleeves, but it does have the tabs. I like planners with tabs on it. These are tabs right here. So you can, Easily find the month you want to go to. So I'm going to take these. This is called washi tape. I ain't never heard of that before, but washi tape. A 13 piece washi tape and I think it's rainbow. I don't know. But it's got all the colors I want to cover up my months. So and then I got some white out to cover up the dates. I was doing a test run yesterday. I whited out all the dates right here. That looks not cute. So I can take my washi tape here and put it across here and make it look a little bit better. And then I can, uh, this is January 2018. So I can remove the 2018 with my washi tape. I'm going to see what it looks like. And then I'll be getting my little black girl stickers in a little while to cut, uh, put in here too so yeah i got a nice little project i'm looking forward to guys i had taken some some brown <laughs> a brown marker and marked out the date to see if i liked it like that and I, I don't like the way it looks it looks really crazy so i took some white out and whited these two dates out and that looks a whole lot better so i'm gonna get some white out and go through my book and white out all the dates and start out start out start it all over so some of you probably say well nancy how come you just didn't buy another one i didn't buy another one because i didn't see any i liked and of course, I'm spending more money on, is that washi tape? I'm spending more money on buying all this stuff just to do that, you know, calendar. But I, I just like my calendar, so. Washi tape. This is the red color one. So it's red. They match perfectly, too. Okay, they match pretty good. Match right here. That matches that. I got that color. I buy a planner every year and never use it. Everything is it is on my phone. Yep, it is. Hi, Janice. I'm sorry I missed you. 
I saw your mystery. I had it with vodka once. Oh, Lord, I love it. Anything with peppermint or eucalyptus. Me too. It gives you a spy like feel. Yeah, about this is my second planner. I'm sorry, my first planner I didn't use. I'm using my stuff. I like this planner. And plus, I didn't find any planners I like this year uh, for next year. Everything is, all these planners are pink or they got, they got dots on the pages. Like, if you want to feel it, like say, for instance, right here on the side. And you can't see nothing. Oh, there you go. Like right here, they be having polka dots. I don't want no dots. I don't want no pink. Everybody's book is floral. I don't want no floral book. I don't like flowers like that. And they're either too costly or they're always missing something. They don't have sleeves in them or they don't have uh, just stuff. They just ain't got enough stuff. So I said I'm just going to use the ones I got because I ain't never used them. I got two books that I didn't really use. How does this washi tape work? I got an orange right here. I might start working on this book tonight or tomorrow so it can be ready by 2021, but I'll do it later. So, yeah, my ex, you have gray hair. Thank you. Thank you. My ex, my ex mom made the eggnog vodka. She got too drunk and threw up at the table in the bag. Ew. Hi, naturally speaking. Karen, you say you love planners. I love decorating them. Okay, so I feel motivated. I, I want to decorate mine too. You decorate your your old ones or any of them. Now, one thing I gotta do, and I said this before, I have I have to actually learn how to plan <laughs> and go by the planner. I actually do the stuff first and then I put in my book. I'm like that is not how it goes. But I'm not a I'm a planner, but I'm not a I'm more of a freestyle person, so I like to do things freely. So maybe I'll try to, uh, oh, she said you need to host a virtual vision board party. Ooh. Ooh. My vision board I made last year, it does not look like a vision board. It looks like, what have you done to it? My, mine look more like a um, chore or task uh, type vision board, but it's my vision board. And it helps me stay on track to know what I'm supposed to be doing with my house and paying my bills and stuff like that. If you look at Pinterest, they have lots of good ideas. They do. Pinterest is pretty. I'm not attracted to Pinterest, though. I do not go on Pinterest. I do not go on But, yeah, I have to uh, learn how to plan and then go by the planner. I do plan. And like one of you ladies just said, uh, our phones do that. And I do. Did somebody phone me? Oh, somebody text me. And I usually use my phone for ideas and stuff like to-do list and stuff my memo i got a memo on my phone and it tells me everything i need to know so i very seldom miss appointments no i don't ever miss appointments i don't i, I have all these all these electronics like alexa she, she's a reminder I remind myself on my cell phone through my calendar and stuff, but it makes me feel like I'm more productive when I use my planners that I don't plan in. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to make this a project. It, I mean, look at all this paper back here. I ain't even none of this. I ain't use none of my papers. Then they have motivational things to say on here. I'm using my stuff. So I got this idea from a young lady on YouTube. Uh, I don't remember her name. I just I was just browsing the videos yesterday and I clicked on it and she said something about some washi tape. Like, what the hell is that? So I went and got some washi tape. Yep, and that is it. So I didn't really do much today. Have you heard of Shima Oil? Uh-huh. Ain't that the um YouTuber? That's Shima. Shima made a she made an oil years ago. Yeah, I've heard of Shima. Yep. So that is it, guys. I didn't really have that much going on today. I did go to, um, what's it called? My cousin went to City Trends. Have you guys heard of City Trends? It's like a like a little store that has cool, trendy stuff. So I met her there. She bought 
her um nephew some clothes, her little nephew will need some clothes and stuff. Lorraine, have you ever heard of scalp tingling when you lie down? Mine does in one spot. Mm-mm. No. I don't think so. I know my scalp feels better since I shampooed it. We took that um I had some curly cream stuff in my hair when I braided my hair up in it. Some of those curly creams make my head itch. So it might be a product you're using. My cousin said, I see some, she said, your hair look kind of blue. Because remember I told you uh, I had put a purplish, bluish color rinse in my hair uh, a couple of weeks ago. And she said she can see some blue. I don't see no blue. But to me, my hair does look slightly darker. So I don't know. That might be a hair product. I don't, I don't know, y'all. So, so this is what day seven, day seven of the uh, Vlogmas 2020 for Nezzy. I am so excited. I am on the road. I was tired when I woke up today, though. I'm like, oh, I don't want to do no video today. But I can't. I have to keep going. So I hope you like seeing me every day. Although I ain't talking about much. Oh, I don't want to tell you guys. So, like I said, I met my friend out at um, Whole Food today, and. She always gives Shay Shay some gifts. So she bought her a Christmas gift. And it's upstairs next to the Christmas tree. So I don't know what it is. She, she said, I got you a card. I ain't get you no Christmas gift. I'm like, uh, I'm the star. Okay, I'm the star now, Shay Shay. Um, uh, Marine, that might be just your nerves. You know how your eyelids can twitch sometimes. Something like that. Could be. No, but bonnets make my head itch. Silky ones do. Mm -hmm. It could be a multitude of things. So, one more question: um, Do you what is what is you what is your favorite Monday night program? My favorite Monday night program is Fail Traction, and it comes on tonight at eight o'clock, and right now it's six twenty. Oh, Lord. Why is Gracie back? <sighs> Why is she back? Hi, Gracie. <laughs> yeah, uh, but my favorite show is Fatal Attraction. And I'm going to watch that tonight. So anybody got any favorite shows for Mondays? <laughs> Hi, Planet Nelly. <laughs> And Crystal, hey, Crystal girl, I'll talk to you last night real late. Uh, just because you asked, now I can't remember what comes on Monday nights. Oh. Mm. I got two shows to come on tonight. But my favorite show is actually, <laughs> hey, Crystal. My favorite show on Monday is, um, yeah, Fatal Attraction. So I'm going to watch that. Guys, I should tell you what my friend said. She is so silly. Do you guys know? I think I asked you this before, too. Have you all ever seen For My Man? I just cannot stand this show. Because I got a girlfriend who would do anything for her man. She told me something so crazy today. I'm like, uh, you are the epitome of For My Man. You need to be in this show because ain't no way in the world be doing some stuff she does for her man. I'm like, what have you done to yourself? <laughs> So that, show, that show used to come on Monday nights after Fatal Attraction, but I'm glad it doesn't come on. Then it started coming on Thursdays. So I don't even know if that show is still playing. I heard about it and never watched it. Girl. Are oh, you watched the planet? Baby. Girl, the stuff that those women do for their man. I'm like, you going crazy for him? You doing these mean things to children and your sister and your brother for this man? Mm. Yeah, girl. So, so yeah, the women are oh the yeah the, those women those women are insane on for my man. So they are. That's from Tiffany Brown. She just said that. Oh, I'm tripping. I forgot my stream yard. Look at that. How y'all like that? Ain't that cute? Tiffany says the woman. Are the I think she meant to say the women are insane on the for my man show. 
They are, guys. They need the, you know what, kick. <laughs> oh, I know, right? I know. It's just too much. They do too much. So when I blow up the screen, I don't see the chat. I wonder can I pull the chat out and put it over there. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I know I'm not doing some of this stuff they do. I ain't doing some of this stuff. So, all right, guys. So, this live is not really all that exciting. And I gotta go upstairs to see about my, my about my Shay Shay because she was so, so excited for me to come home. She saw me with all those bags. She wanted to know what was going on. I should let her go up. I should go up there and get her Christmas bag and let her open it up and tear it up. She likes to tear up her, uh, her Christmas gifts. Hi, Pamela. Thank you. I got a compliment today. This chief, the lady said, I love your hair. And see the trend, she was uh, one of the cashiers. She said, I love your hair. I said, thank you. Guys, this was, I don't know. I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say, I act bad. I act bad today. I act bad today. And my cousin fussed at me so bad. She said, you need to stop being mean and stop being like that. No, people need to leave me alone when I won't act ugly. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk about that though. Yeah. All right. Anything else y'all want me to talk about before I go? Because I'm gonna go upstairs and unwind and no, I need to take down that computer right there. Because I gotta go to Best Buy tomorrow. And I want to do another a new intro. Mm. I don't know. Okay, bye. You all have a good night. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for hanging out with me for a while. You miss what, uh, Rose? What you what you didn't miss, girl? Have you started putting up your tree? Oh yeah, my tree been up about three weeks. And it's a, it's a, uh, put the tree up and take the tree down type thing. So my tree is already, it's a little bitty guy. He already got his bulbs and lights on, automatically on there and the little, um, angel at the top. And all I gotta do is take it out, out of this, out of this little area right here and take it upstairs. And then when I'm finished, I just unplug it and put it back in there. That's it. I don't do nothing. I don't, mm -mm. I love that. You did. Ooh, I love oh tripping. Guys, I forgot I'm on here. Outro. Oh, I love the outro you do. Oh, okay. I thought you said the out. <laughs> Ooh, I love that outdoors you do. <laughs> but you meant to say outro. I do. Oh. Oh. Oh, my outro. Oh, you know what? I'm thinking about my intro. You're talking about when I end the video. When I make them strange sounds, that is so crazy. I know. Spell check is a mofo. It's way too much. Now, look at that. Let me make this bigger. Look at that profile photo. <laughs> Who in the world is that on that profile photo? <laughs> Who was that? I simply am working so can't talk, but I can watch y'all talk. Yeah. We ain't gonna be on long. I'm gonna get off. Rosalind says she'll see us later. Bye, Rosalind. Thanks for stopping by. I'm gonna see y'all later too. So y'all better say bye before I hang up. I'm gonna call y'all. Let me call y'all. Maybe I'll make a video on the next one. I don't know. I can't promise y'all. Let me tell y'all. When I say I'm going to do this vlog, miss, vlogmas, I never had nothing in line to, to do the vlogmas. I just said, I should just do vlog. I should just do the vlogmas. But what's helping me is that I got my own stream set up. <laughs> uh, bye. 
All right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great night. Ooh. Ooh. Bye. B Y E E E E E. Enter. Oh. And music notes. Says bye. How do you end this thing? Ooh.